I don't know if you can tell or not, I'm really weak right now. I feel really, really weak. I haven't eaten, it's about 2.30 p.m. No food today, been trying to get my Texas driver's license, which not the easiest thing. The next available date at the DMV is like three months from now. And you need so many documents. Anyway, finally getting around to food, so figure I'd reward myself with some Texas barbecue. And this is the downtown Dallas area, and this is where all the barbecue spots are. And today I am going to the number one most recommended barbecue place in Dallas, Pecan Lodge. There's cookies, there's popsicles, there's tacos, and here it is. While my day of misfortune continues, of course, I came here, I wanted a beef rib, which is, you know, the Cadillac, the Rolls Royce, the Halle Berry of barbecue meat. Of course, sold out. They sold out within one hour. So if you ever want to come here and get a beef rib, get here within the first hour, otherwise you won't get one. This is insane. As soon as my fork penetrated the casing of the sausage, you just hear like a faint snap and juice just start flowing out from wherever I punctured it. And this is the brisket. I, I kind of made a mistake. I should have asked for the fatty one. I think they gave me lean brisket. Glorious smoke ring on the bottom, all that fat and crust on top. I think this, this is the best piece right here. Pulled pork. Oh, look at this beautiful color. It's just like a bouquet of meat. We got a little crust, some fat, and look how easily this thing just comes apart. And this thing looks like it's about to just fall to pieces, even if I jiggle it a little bit. Oh, look at this. That's all it takes to get a piece of that rib off the bone. There you go. That's it. That's how you debone a rib here. I also got their sandwich. This is some sort of brisket sandwich. And this is chopped brisket. So hopefully these are fattier pieces here. Some color greens, of course. This is their infamous sweet potato. First of all, I've never seen a sweet potato as big as this before. There's bits of bacon, pulled pork, just a ton of barbecue and scallions all on top of this sweet potato. Mm. I'm pretty sure this is considered an appetizer. This is amazing. The sweet potato is silky smooth. The brisket just peppery and spicy. Mm. And oh my God, the smoke. You really got to try this. Oh, you get this extremely gentle sweet potatoes you got cheese you got the texture from the brisket a little crunch from the bacon bits and the scallions so much flavor so much texture i can't believe this is an appetizer brenda's here with me Hi. you've been here before right no you never been here before no, i've never been here oh okay, okay, okay it's a lot of food but Brenda also has a big family, so they're gonna help us eat all this too. I think the biggest mistake I made today was not specifying that I want a fatty brisket. Again, I think this is the ling brisket, but like even the ling brisket, look at that. Please don't be dry, please don't be dry. A little dry. I told you, this is not my day today. I always specify fatty brisket. I don't think I've ever had lean brisket that's not dry. Flavor's good, but I think it tastes like the tumbleweed I hit on the way here. This, on the other hand, this part, I know this is gonna be a whole different story. Um, it's still not juicy, but this is the tender part. I don't understand lean brisket. I don't understand why anybody would opt to get that because again, I never had a piece that wasn't dry. There are big cuts of meat and they could be tender, but they're never juicy. That was a good piece. A ton of fat in that bite. This is the jalapeno link. Amazing. You guys should see big pieces of jalapeno. This thing, incredible snap. Great spicy flavor. So smoky as well. Mmm, that's amazing sausage. Pulled pork is good. Tender and just like um, the lean brisket, a bit on the dry side. I am excited about this. You tried the brisket? Not yet. Try the brisket. In case I'm not trustworthy enough, Brendan doesn't lie. Try. 
Dry? Very dry. Yeah. Tastes like Texas. Mm -hmm. Wish I got the fatty brisket. I think my favorite thing so far is the sweet potato. <laughs> this is really good. Actually, it's high between those and the sausage. Sausage is amazing. Mm. Also, dish. Good, right? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Sweet, but salty at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't lie to you guys. When I say it's good, it's going to be good. This is good. Not even going to use my teeth. Oh, ribs are so good. Ooh, I haven't tried their barbecue sauce. Let's see if we can rescue the uh, brisket a little bit. Well, you guys can already see on screen that's turning really, really dry. And this hasn't been sitting on my plate for that long either. I've been eating this pretty much as soon as we got the order. It's better with the sauce. Wow, I love the sauce. I want everything now. Try a little barbecue sauce too. The sauce is so good. I just wish this place would have asked me if I wanted a lean or fatty brisket. Not too late to fix this food regret. We got a lot, a lot of people that's gonna eat this. Like nine people. I'm gonna go get some fatty brisket. And while I wait for my meat to get here, just a huge shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video. Raycon earbuds. You guys know I've been using Raycon for a while now, ever since I first tried them out. And I told you guys, when they reached out to me, I was using a different, much more expensive pair of earbuds. But as soon as I tried these, this is what I've been using ever since. And again, with any brand that jumps on my channel, if I don't absolutely love it and endorse it, I'm not gonna tell you guys about it. I like these because first of all, really compact, nice color. Blue is my color, brings out my eyes. You open the case, it doesn't fall out, which was not the case with my other pair of earbuds. They fit perfectly. I use these to go running, biking. I can jump all around. They don't fall out of my ear. These ones here are the Everyday Yi 25s. They're super easy to connect. You get six hours of playtime, and Mike Tyson says they're awesome. So you want to disagree with Mike Tyson? I don't think so. And if you don't know, Raycon was co-founded by Ray J, and they wanted to create something that provides innovative earbud design that doesn't break the bank, which that's this right here. So if you're looking for a new pair of earbuds and you want to try these out, go to my link down below. You'll get 15% off your order. Or just go to buyraycon.com slash Mikey Chan. Raycon earbuds starts at about half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands. And they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands. You can get different colors, different patterns, and you can try it out for 45 days. Don't like it? Get your money back. Fatty brisket is here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is definitely fatty. This pulled. And this chunk of meat just came out. I swear I'm not picking on this place. And I want this place to be really, really good because I love Texas barbecue. And this place is highly recommended. That was a tough bite of brisket. This part is really tender, but this end piece right here, try as my dad jokes. I think this is gonna be a good piece here. But anytime you get like a like an end piece on this brisket, even though it's tender, it's not all that juicy. And this part is just flat out dry. Brenda, try this. It looks dry already. Try it. Yeah. Tastes the same. It's dry, right? It's dry. It tastes like the ling brisket. I think this place maybe is just today. This is this is what, what I'm getting. Flavor is all there. It's great. It's just dry. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Actually, I'm a lot disappointed. When I think of fatty brisket, I want that thing juicy. I want a tender. And again, flavor is good. Tons of smoke. I may not be able to beat this up in a fight. Favorite thing I have here, the sweet potato. Marvelous. The ribs and the sausage. Three best things at this place, in my humble opinion. Of course, I never got to try the beef rib. I bet you that would have been incredible. That's why it sold out so early. But just based on what I've had today, those are the things I like. Oh, I forgot about this banana pudding. That's good. That's really good. That would have been a fitting conclusion to any great barbecue meal. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna go back to my roots, to my first ever taste of Texas barbecue, which was at Terry Black's, which is right down the street. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna go try that place out, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to my sweet potato. Blue steel, drunken nut, cloud nine. That looks good. Smooth operator. These all look good. I'll take a key lime and a blue steel. I've had a key lime pie since I was in 
the Florida Keys. A good Key Lime Pie is just always so tart and make you just want to puck your lips. A lot of Key Lime Pie is just made from lime or lemon. It actually tastes like Key Lime. That's a delicious pie. Is that your first time eating Key Lime? Yes. Do you like it? Very, very tart, like you said. Huh. I love blueberry pie. Blue Steel. All well, you kids might not have seen the movie Zoolander. I'll do my best Blue Steel. That's all I got. Oh, cool. Filled popsicles. What's the, what's the best one? Uh, I like the banana Nutella or the Pinky Pink Frank. I'll take a banana Nutella. What do you want? Pretty good. Nutella and a banana popsicle. I remember back when I was still living in the Bay Area, we would go out to lunch often at a Gim barbecue. And right beside there, you went there, right? There was a popsicle store right afterwards. So we get all you can eat Korean barbecue, then go for popsicles. Most unhealthy day ever, but that's what we always do. That smells like something I want to eat. And this is where the magic happens. What up, guys? Wow, this is where the magic happens, huh? That was so pretty. Now let's actually go get some. This might just be the best day of my life. Maybe I'll get married, maybe I won't, maybe I'll have kids, maybe I won't, but as of right now, I can't think of a day that might top this. This is the same feeling I get when I'm waiting for like a, like a really awesome roller coaster at Six Flags or something. The anticipation is killing me. I'm beyond excited. This has to be the first bite. I don't even. Mm. Just like I remember it. Don't even use your teeth. Just give it a gentle kiss. That is all you need to do. And this thing will just come right off the bones. the most delicious, fragile piece of meat you'll ever lovingly hold in your hands. Too good. Too ungodly good. Again, you can just break this apart with your plastic fork. Same thing with the fatty brisket. Now I truly feel like I'm in Texas. The biscuit, the beef rib, cheddar sausage. I remember how good that was. You gotta get the cheddar sausage here. Unbelievable. That sausage would definitely be able to get like the front page of Sports Illustrator or something because it's that smoking. I never had a smoked turkey because I literally eat turkey once a year during Thanksgiving. Hmm. I'm always shocked when I eat sliced turkey anywhere when it's not dry. This is not dry. This is tender. That's so tender. Mmm. And it's such a great smoke flavor. And finally, the pork rib. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. That's it. No barbecue is better than Texas barbecue. I'll make that statement and I'll stand behind it. 
There's absolutely nothing I don't love at this place. Actually, this pork rib might be my favorite thing here. I'm like the most unfaithful barbecue eater ever. Like every time I take a bite of something, I fall in love with it. I, uh, I'm home. I can eat this like all the time now. I'm home and this is my homecoming meal. I'm gonna just hang up the do not disturb sign for a little bit. I need some time alone with this. See you in a bit. Everything is amazing here. Oh, perfect way to end this meal. A little banana pudding. A little soda water. I don't know if I could be more happy right now. Like, food elated joy at a maximum. That's where I'm at. Also, uh, quick story. I don't know if you guys care. I love sparkling water so much. And I started drinking this because when I was uh, back in college and I was rushing Delta Chi fraternity, I didn't drink. So they bought me what they thought was the nastiest beverage out there, which is sparkling water. And I drink this instead of beer. And at the time, I hated the taste of this. But after a whole pledge season, love it. Loved it ever since. Anyway, just some random story that you probably didn't ask for. That was amazing. And Chu's going to take us on another little tour of the barbecue pit area. What we got? What's up, man? So in our pit room, we have five 1,000 gallon offset smokers all made by Sonny Mulberg out of Dripping Springs, Texas. Fire boxes are insulated. We only use post oak wood. Got to keep it Central Texas style all the way. So we're constantly cooking briskets. We're doing about 150 briskets, 25 beef ribs a day. Prime brisket, kosher salt, black pepper. Oh, so pretty. So of course, this is further along within the cook. Got thrown on about 3 a.m. in the morning. Coming up to about the 10, 10 and a half hour mark. We're gonna be wrapping here real soon. We have a saying at Terry Black's, brisket is king, but obviously the Rolls Royce of Texas barbecue is our beef rib. That is so true. Again, just kosher salt and black pepper. You gotta get that when you come here. That was, just, that was love at first bite for me. When I first came here, I just filmed this. I didn't use my teeth. I told everybody, I'm like, yo, come here and you give that beef rib a subtle kiss Absolutely. and it falls apart. Well, I appreciate it, man. No Thank problem. you so much. You guys do amazing work here. Thank you. I, I just moved to Dallas, so I'm going to be back a lot. So what? yeah, really? I did. That's crazy. I did. I'm here now. So do you mind if I take a photo? no, of course, of course. Look at the uh, Jasmine milk tea. Uh, 30% sugar, um, not too much ice, and no boba. I'm too old for boba, huh? No boba. No boba. Okay. A lot of you guys hating on me right now, but once you're uh, older, you, you grow out of boba. I came here because I miss Seattle. <laughs> so I don't know why the, the, one of the best pho places around me is also called pho bag. What are the odds of that? It, it's like I'm taking a piece of Seattle with me. Anyway, after a couple of days of barbecue, I just want to rest my stomach a little bit. So best way to do that is to pho your tummy up with pho pho. Yeah. Excellent broth. Since I live close to great Vietnamese food now, like this is all I want to eat. Like whenever I'm hungry, I just want a bowl of noodles. That's all I want. And this broth is great. How's the broth? It's good. Mmm. Well, that's excellent broth. I asked for a bottle of sriracha. Give me this. So, so these last two days will be two of many meals of barbecue in, in Dallas and Texas in general. Obviously, I know like these two may be the most popular in Dallas. They may not be the best. And trying to eat through all the barbecue restaurants, even in, in Dallas itself, is like trying to get at all the pizza places in New York. It's going to take some time, but I, I'm in it for the long run. I will try most, if not all, the barbecue places in Dallas and in Texas. If I, I'm gonna make this a live mission, I'm gonna try every single good barbecue place in Texas. I don't care if it takes me the rest of my life, I'm gonna do it for, for you guys, not because I'm gonna enjoy it a lot, which I will. I actually wanted to go to a third barbecue place. I wanted to go tonight. Uh, it's called, uh, what's it called? Hutchins Barbecue. I wanted to go there because we, we ran into that place on our way to get dumplings one day and there was a, like a line around the block. So I wanted to go there. They got some crazy jalapenos stuffed with brisket and wrapped in bacon. But yeah, then I realized like three barbecue meals in a row, 
giver for me might make me hate brisket for a while. Mm, much better option. I love the use of scallions here. Hmm. Anyway, a quick summary of the two barbecue places I went to. My favorite things at Terry Black's, definitely the beef rib, the pork rib, the cheese sausage was amazing, banana pudding was awesome, whole pork was good, oh smoked turkey was amazing. That place by far is still probably my favorite barbecue place in Texas. I know I haven't tried a lot, don't jump on me, yeah I'm getting there, I will try a lot more. But as of now, that's my favorite barbecue place in Texas. I feel like the pecan lodge I think is more popular, but the brisket, even the fatty one, wasn't all that great. Kind of dry, flavor wasn't as good as Terry Black's. I know I didn't get to try the beef rib, but overall impression don't like it as much. Probably won't be going back. What do you think, Brenda? Which one was your favorite? Terry Black's. Terry Black's your favorite? Yeah, for sure. That sweet potato was good. Though. It was good. It and was really the good. The sausage was good too, but everything else of theirs, like the brisket and ribs, is not as great. What she said. Kudos on that sweet potato and the and the jalapeno mm. sausage was amazing. Rib was good. Otherwise, yeah, it's okay. Anyway, that's my first two reviews of I'm sure many more barbecue places to come. All right, gotta get back to my fuck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell we eat again. See you later.